Woo. You might want a pair of hand weights for warm up. Let me grab a pair of hand weights. Boop, boop, boop. We'll loosen up through the lower back. Turn on some good music today because doing this three days in a row can really stiffen up the body, which then stiffens up around the soul. And we don't want to stiffen up around the soul. We want to be loose as a goose in the cosmos. <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, loose as a goose. <laughs> Excellent. So just shaking it out. And then we're going to turn this into a circle any direction you want to go. Whee! Got our little hand weights in. We're going to warm the waistline up. You know, oh, it's core work. Well, waistline work can also yank on the SI joint and the lumbar spine back there. So we're going to use the weights to kind of get. The body assimilated to weights. Pause. Go in the other direction. So even with small hand weights, if you start hurting down here, somewhere between the posterior, the posterior, as, <laughs> as my southern accent kicks in, and your shoulder blades, then the weights have to go down. One more time around. Excellent. Turn the toes out and start lifting one heel at a time. And then the elbows start coming up. There we go. If you want to do one on each side, you can do one on each side. But if the shoulders aren't ready, then don't do it. Ah, just get into the ankles and the calves. Ah, happy day, by the way. I hope everybody's doing good. Drinking lots of water, taking all the, the yummy vitamins, keeping ourselves vital. Yes, ready for whatever comes at us. Oh, we got one and one and two and two. We got three and three, and then we're going to simulate those gorilla hangers. Toes come first. To first forward. We're going to drop down by the knees. We're going to pull up. The shoulder blades come together and then we come down and then the shoulder blades come up. So like if, if we were a, a giant silverback in the middle of the Rwandan jungle, yes, we would want to stretch that chest, stretch the belly and then beat on our chest. <laughs> Yes, stimulate the thymus gland by beating on that chest. So we're bringing those weights up, squeezing up through those shoulder blades. Ah, how about three more of them? Three, two, and one. March it out. There we go. Okay. Let's get to moving. So we're gonna do a little more of a full body today. Got a lot of stuff going on. You need wall space so you can have some push-ups. You need some floor space if you wanna have your push-ups down there or the back of a chair. Make sure your footfalls are nice and equal. If you seem to be having issues with one foot not connecting with the floor, as opposed to the other. It's something to look into, you know. Don't forget to mention it to the doc the next time you go. We kind of ignore the, the issues with the feet, but you know, if it's something new, you're like, hey doc, not only am I here for my cough, what do you think about my foot? Excellent, all right, start to pick up the pace. Nice and soft. We're just going out for our morning look-see around the world. Ah, you can envision that you're anywhere on the planet. Well, you know what? Some of you beings are out there kind of cosmic. Imagine you're anywhere in the universe. <laughs> anywhere in the heavens. You could be jogging the streets of gold, waving at the neighbor. Hey, how's it going? Happy morning to you. You know, you could be the cosmic paper boy. Throw it out. Well, paper person. Got it. Hey, we, we got to get it right these days. Ah, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. 
All right, three, two, one, heels, and press those hands together. So if you've already got weights in those hands, serve them up. What's today's cosmic weight lifting dish? Put it right out there, yes. Let everybody see it, yes. Today I am serving up, it looks like two very strange cosmic hot dogs. <laughs> There you go. <sighs> nice. And then shorten the swing and pull the elbows more. Get those collarbones up. So right in between the shoulder blades. Yep. Yep. There we go. Pull. You could even bring the knuckles up on top and give it a nice squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's gonna get that sternum up nice and tall. And we're gonna fight that dowager's hump in the back. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Plant the feet. If you have weights, put them together. We're gonna draw rainbows upside down. Why? Because we should. And I'm just having one of those days. <laughs> we need more rainbows. Nice. Or you could pretend you're at the beach and you're splashing your favorite play buddy whoops, in the face with a little salt spray. Yes. Or those little innocuous jellyfish that have no tentacles. Splat. I can't be the only one that ever picked up one of those and flung it at somebody. I did so recently. <laughs> There you go. Three, three, two, two, one, and one. Bring it down center. All right, step wide because we do have some swings to do. Swings, very important. I don't want to roll down and swing up. You notice that it's going to impinge my back. I want to sit back and swing. Sit back and swing and squeeze those buns every time they come up, okay? So collarbones stay high and sweep and swing. There we go. Playing with the kids, playing with the grandkids and they're just giggling, Wee! Yes, nice. So this is really light. This should just be warming up the legs, getting into the hips. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let them settle. Both weights, one hand, step it a little closer together. So I've got them in the right hand. Left fingertips are gonna go behind my head. Drop it down. Just warming up attachment points here. Drop those weights toward that right knee. Here we go, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now because we're light here, do this, practice it like once or twice and make sure it doesn't do anything to the back. But I'm going to drop by the waist and then I'm going to slide it down in front of my quad and I'm going to bring a little squeeze down in here. Nice and controlled as we come up so it goes out to the side down to the front, out to the side, down to the front, out to the side, down to the front. So this should be a really light weight. I wouldn't do the, the forward lean with anything heavier than about five, eight pounds, depending on your back. Beautiful. Two more. Here's number one. And then here's number two, side and forward. Slide it. Lift it, switch hands, big breath. <sighs> Check in with the back. So if sliding down the front, bad idea for your back, keep it to the side. If you hate it all, bicep curls, squats. All right, left hand, right fingertips. Slide out to the side for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lift and hold just a moment. So we're gonna do the slide to the side and then the slide to the front. Ready? One, and two, and three, and four. Da, 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 five, da, 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 six. <laughs> oh, I do miss music. Number eight, nine, and 10. Don't forget the and, slide it down the front. Boop. And lift very nice, one in each hand, shoulders roll up and back. Belly button draws in, little tiny bend in the knee so we don't hyper extend that knee joint. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna basically demo and do with light weights the lunge presses, and then we're gonna put all of these exercises together. All right, right foot steps forward, left foot steps back, bring those weights up. You're gonna drop down. You can drop down an inch, you can drop down a little, you can drop all the way to the floor when you come up, press up. If that's too much for your body, modify. Here we go, drop and press, two, and press, three, press, four, nice, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Beautiful, step that left foot forward, bring those hands down, gorilla hangers, drop them down, pull it up, one, two, Three, four, come on, jungle sounds, jungle sounds. Got the silverback going on here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful last pull and release. Right foot steps back. Lunge style, bring it up and out with those moose antlers. 10 lunges, this is the opposite side. So if you did the other side first, do the other side now. Here we go. One, and press. Two, and press. Lots of control. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, we're gonna step forward. We're not gonna do the set, next set of lunge presses because we're gonna do that in the next set. Grab a little bit of water, have whatever your pair of weights of choice are gonna be for those lunge presses and those gorilla poles. I'm sure there's a swanky name for those gorilla poles, you know, something more professional than a gorilla pole. I don't know, like a deadlift. I don't like the word dead. <laughs> Here, let's do deadlifts. No, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Make sure you have access either to the floor so that you can sit for our Polish twists or sit in your chair for Polish twists and you've got access to a wall or the back of a chair or to be able to do push-ups on the floor. Ooh, water break, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Stop talking, Caroline. All right, okay, so grab one weight of choice for your waistline. I'm gonna grab a 15. Why, because I own one, and it should be picked up off the floor like once a week. <laughs> That's it. So if you have a kettlebell, you could use a kettlebell. You could use your pocketbook. I know a lot of folks out there that have really heavy purses. Use your purse. See, it carries your life and it can strengthen your waistline. <laughs> All right, right hand, plant those feet, fingertips up behind the head. We're gonna drop out to the side. Here we go, one, two. So if you picked up a heavier weight and it starts creaking and groaning and you don't like it, exchange it out, 
six, seven, eight, nine, last one, lift, hold, bring it into the front, okay? If you've got a big heavy bell, you're gonna step wide and you're gonna hold it thusly. If you've just got a little weight, don't worry about it. You're just gonna swing. You're essentially gonna do a Tabata squat, okay? We're gonna reach down slightly, the tush goes out, and sweep. One, two, squeeze the buns. Three, four, nice flat back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, slide it down, mind the knees, pull it up and in, beautiful feet step back together, drop it off on the left side, fingertips up, waistline, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, last one. Yes, bring it up through center. Whoop, kettlebells, go wide. If you wanna just drop and do a squat here, just drop and do a squat. You wanna do the knee pulls, knee pulls so that you don't damage the knees. Hold it in front of the chest for core stabilization and just pull the knees. Ready, drop, little swing to get it started. And then a one, two, Three, so this really isn't an arm exercise at all. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let it slow, then reel it up and pull it in. Back to the first side, drop it in the right hand, fingertips up behind the ears, feet as wide as they need to go, belly button draws in, rock it, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Before we go to the kettlebell swing, hold here, shift right, pull your left knee up in front if you can, leave the toe on the floor if you need to. And we've got, oh yeah, it's gonna be one of those days. We've got a little bit of a hold just for that balance aspect. <sighs> oh yeah, all those little micro muscles in the foot and the ankle and put it down. Swing it center, step it wide. Bend the knees, flatten the back. Little swing at first and then squeeze the buns. Squeeze the buns, squeeze the buns. That's what it's all about, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let it settle. Yep, Ori got all fancy. Whoop. <laughs> that was a half of a catch a press and a release. Woo! <laughs> Fingertips behind the ear, feet nice and planted. Go! One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, bring it up, right knee is going to rise, this is going to be most of our off legs, but notice the fine movements going on in the foot and the ankle and the calf, even if your right toe is on the floor, you're still shifting your weight over, so those stabilization muscles have to hold on. Three, two, one, put it down. Bring it into center, big breath. Last set of kettlebell swings. And these aren't kettlebells. <laughs> Unless you have one, and then use that. Here we go, little bend. Give it a little swing first, and then a one, two, Three, this can be the gentlest thing on the planet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Catch press. 
<laughs> we're getting Ori kind of accustomed to these. Okay, the next thing that we've got on our list is lunge presses. So you're going to need a pair of weights. <sighs> yes. Yep, choices, choices. So two soup cans, two puppies, two hairbrushes, <laughs> two massive bottles of shampoo, if you're a big box store shopper. <laughs> Whatever is gonna create enough weight and enough resistance for you. If you're already having knee issues today, maybe a lunge is not what your body's looking for. So modify that, okay? Yay. Knee pulls. All right, right foot steps forward. We holster up, moose antler out. We're gonna drop the knee and then press up. Drop and press, drop and press. Number three, four, five, nice tall collarbones, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, drop to there, close it nice and safe, put it down. Left foot steps forward, down in front, nice flat back or have a little curve in it. I don't wanna be rolling down. If I'm rolling down, then my weights are too heavy. I wanna be able to roll up and in, get a nice engagement between that thoracic spine and lumbar spine. Drop it down, pull up by the shoulders, gorilla pulls, there you go. One, two, three, four, squeeze the buns, five. That's going to ensure that you stand all the way up. Six, seven, right in front of the shoulder, eight, shoulder, nine, and ten. Bring it together. Left foot steps back, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did I already do this side? Wait. Right foot steps back. Right? I don't know. All right. Do your other side. <laughs> Lunge and press. Lunge and press. I was very methodical about that. Yes, it is this leg. Number four, five, six, Seven, three, two, one. Drop in, fold in, put it down. Right foot steps forward. Yes, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Arms come forward, gorilla pulls, and in front of the shoulder. If your weights are flying up over your shoulder, look at them, bring them down. You would want the bar in a deadlift to land on your chest. Yes. We'll call this six, <laughs> seven, I can call them whatever I want, <laughs> eight, <laughs> nine, and ten. Bring it together, put them down. And then y'all can call me whatever you want because we can't hear each other. Okay, so since that was a heavier set, instead of doing two like the waistline set, we did one. We're gonna take just a small little water break and then we're gonna get into the second set of those. If the weights you picked up weren't heavy enough, pick up heavier ones. If they were too heavy, put them down, grab something smaller. Oh, absolutely. My five. <laughs> We are stirring the chi by ah, to think. I used to do so much Tai Chi and I hardly remember any of it. <laughs> That's a good hula. There you go. She's going to hula. I'm going to do Tai Not Chi. Tai Chi is what got me into yoga. Getting injured in Kung Fu is what got me into Tai Chi, and then Tai Chi got me into yoga, and then the sound of Om was like, ah. 
and it's history's mysteries. Ah, <sighs> okay. Right foot's gonna step forward. Left foot steps back. Bring it up and in. Moose antlers. Set two. Drop the knee, modify in all the ways. Just press and press and press. Four. Five. This is about bone density. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Drop, pull it in. Left foot steps forward. Drop them down. Gorilla pulls. And to the shoulder. And to the shoulder. Yes. Number three. Four. Five. Six. This is an upper back exercise. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10. Drop it in. Right foot steps back. Boom. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> Hands come up. Drop that knee. Pew. One, two, <laughs> three. I don't know why y'all put up with me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten fold it in step the right foot forward oh if i step too far forward my toes start to disappear drop them down tush goes out back nice engagement in that back this is for the back lift and squeeze lift and squeeze three shoulder blades coming together four Five, chin pulls into the throat. Five, four, three, nice and smooth, straight up the body. Two, and one. Drop it, squeeze it together, put those down. Nice. So, the thing that we got to be careful with as we do this on a regular basis is we don't really start swinging. Because then we've got that low back impingement that happens. It's a pull slide. And this whole posterior chain locks in. Pull slide. There we go. All right. Either floor or chair. Some people call them Russian twists. We're going to call them Polish twists. We did. Because we wanted to. <laughs> Set of weights in the hands. So just like you would see somebody doing this with a medicine ball, if you've got a medicine ball or a kettlebell, you can go heavier than this if you want to. I'm actually gonna pick up one of my tens. I'm gonna hold it end to end. You can choose to sit straight up in a chair and simply twist. Make sure that you're doing this very methodically so that you're not over twisting on one side. Otherwise, we're gonna pick up those legs. We're gonna slide and slide slide and slide so if you're on the floor you can choose to bounce the ball on the floor or the weight oh i almost fell down five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten and ten put those feet down take a big deep breath if you are on the floor, flip over, knee down push-ups or toe down push-ups. We're gonna head to the wall or the back of a chair. Back of the chair simply looks like this. Your body is straight, you lean, and you just get into that chest wall. If you're gonna hit the wall, assume the position. Here we go, 10 of them. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now press, hold, lift that right leg up behind you. You can't see that because I got a chair in the way. Yep. 
So I'm gonna press that leg up and behind, pull the belly button in, drop the nose a little closer to your destination. Breathing in, breathing out, press away. Other foot lifts, drop a little closer. Elbows can squeeze in or elbows can come out at 90s. And then press away and release. Whew, another set of Polish twists, floor or chair. And how would we say Polish twists in Polish? Polski twist. Polski twist. Oh, oh, it sounds so delicious. It's like, it's like a donut with a little salt and sugar on it. Polski twist. <laughs> and then it crushes your soul. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Twist side to side. One, one, two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Last two. One and two. Bring it to the center. Come on, baby. Do the pole skit twist. It was twist, sorry. Woo, twist. Right. Push ups. Go, 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 go. Pick your poison. <sighs> I'm gonna go tricep push-ups. I'm gonna bring it together in a little diamond, and then I'm gonna push up from there, which is gonna cause the back of my arm to smile. Here we go. Lean it into whatever you're leaning into, and press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lift that right leg. Bend the elbows just a little. Press it up and away. Right leg comes down, left leg lifts. Press. And away. Put that foot down. Step up and away. Third set, Polski twist. <laughs> it's so it's just it's been so much fun living in the house with you know it's it's just great i love to learn other languages even though i haven't tried real hard on this it's, it's just such a luxury <laughs> side to side go one one two two Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Third set of push ups. <sighs> All right, or you got the wall. I got a set to do on the floor. I know, I got to do them today. All right. 10 of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lift, right leg lifts, little bend, little push up. Right leg lands, left leg lifts, little bend, little lift, pull it up, walk it back. Hands on hips, smiles on lips, makes the circles with the hips. Oh, Dr. Seuss would be so proud. Yes. Circle it around. One more time. Other direction. Yay. Pause. Water. Good stuff. All right, we've gotten in our waistline. We've gotten in our kettlebell swings, which are also core and waistline. We've gotten in our lunge presses, which are legs, shoulders, 
We've gotten our gorilla pulls, upper back, waistline, and hips and quads. Seated Polish twists for the waistline. Gotten in our push-ups for our chest. Ah, oh, balance work, calf work. Ori is not gonna be happy with it. <laughs> She's, okay, so grab a weight of choice. If you need a balance point, grab a wall, a countertop, or the back of a chair. So, if I say single calf lifts with a weight, yeah, test it. If you put the weight down if that didn't feel good, if that still didn't feel good, double footed. Perfect. It's perfectly fine. So, we've got the left leg to do first. I like to wrap my right ankle across the back. I like to find support from something. And then I've got my right hand with a weight. So, we're going to lift that ankle, test it. Decide whether you like it, put the weight down if you didn't, test it again. Double foot if you need to. 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Beautiful. Switch legs. Chair if you need it. Test it. Test it again with no weight if you need to. Test it with double feet. Wow. And then 10. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Weight goes center. Feet a little wider than the hips. Shoulder blades up and back. Now here, because that's, that's bringing 41 pounds of weight into turning the discs in your neck into wedges. So every time I look down at my cell phone, that's 41 pounds of weight on each disc in my cervical spine. I'm not looking at a cell phone, but if I'm holding a weight, imagine what else that's doing. So we pull up back and in, calf raises, go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Right foot steps back. Press it. Little calf stretch. Yes. So with the right foot pressed back, I want both feet flat on the floor. We're going to bring that weight into center. We're going to go superhero mode. We're going to lift the calf, press up and out, and press. There we go. Heel presses, then hands press. Heel press, then hand press. Yes! Four, five, six, seven, three, two, and one. Step it together. Other leg. Yup. Move back in the frame. Heel lift, hand press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, bring it in, step it together. Woo, those are fancy, like those. <laughs> Back to that original ankle. So it'll be left leg down, right leg behind. If you need to put the weight down, put the weight down. We have 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten nice Whew. other side wrap it up lift one two three four five six well seven going down eight <laughs> 
nine, 10. There wasn't even time to make that one look cool. <laughs> Ooh, I was just checking my hair. <laughs> ah, feet go wide. You can hold end to end or hold right here. Simple, pull up through the back. There we go. Double raises. Wee! 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Chin pulls in. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. Well, one more set of lunge presses on each side. Well, calf presses on each side. Bring it in. That heel's going to rise. Those arms are going to punch out if you want to. And if you don't, don't go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Beautiful. Step it together. Other leg steps back. Heel rises, hands rise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Press it. Bring it. Step back and together. Feet are a little wider. Drop down into those legs like a happy chicken on a nest. And then lift, 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 squat down. Lift, 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 and lower. Lift, 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 that's three. Lift, 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 that's four. Lift, 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 five. Lift, 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 six. Nice and slow. Seven. Lift, 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 eight. Nine. Last one. Press it up. Ooh. And hold. Little side to side. If you've got a weight, it's going to go in one hand. Give yourself a little metronome beat just because you can. Da, da, da. Okay. All right. Step those feet close together. Holster that weight. Bring it. So I've got it in front of one shoulder. We're going to turn. I've got right shoulder here. So I'm going to turn and face you and release. Face you and release. So it's just a left twist. Just a left twist. And it's holstered in front of that right shoulder. Yes. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Beautiful. Other side. Boop. Okay. So then we're going to twist right. One, two, three, four, five. Belly button draws in. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Straighten it out. Back into another set of those slow lifting squats. And, and yes, these are good. So we lower and press up for three. Lower. Here we go. Here we go. Back into the squats we go. Yes. Number three, 
four, two, three, five, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, come all the way up. Nine, I like it. I love all the modifications. Now just come down and hold for a second. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow press. <sighs> yay. Oh, so yay. Right hand. Snuggle it up with the left hand. Turn and have a look-see, right shoulder, so I'm gonna turn left. All right, yes, one, two, three, four, five, squeeze, five, four, three, Two, one. Yes, switch sides. Osteoporosis work. Got to work on squeezing the bones up and down the back side of that body. Whew. Holster left shoulder. Turn and give me a wink. One, <laughs> two, three. Belly button draws. Four. Pictures. Five. Five, four, three, two, good squeeze. Last one. And to the center. Ah, oh, put that weight wherever you want to put it. If you want to do one more or two more sets of Polsky twists with us, you can do Polsky twists in the chair. If you want weight, beautiful. You don't want weight. Fabulous. Up to you. You need a water break? Grab a water break. <sighs> Got a lot of work done in a very short amount of time today, which is really nice. Yep. <sighs> You're spreading. <laughs> She's spready today. All right. So, Polsky twist or not Polsky twist? If you want to put the weight down, you can choose to do opposite knees if that's more comfortable for you you're welcome to do those you could do same knees so that you're still getting that beautiful abdominal work Polsky twists for those that are feeling a little savage today all right Woo! twist and twist here we go one one two two three three four Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Whoo! Just breathing. There you go. Keep going. Pound them out. Do 40 of them. Ah. <laughs> Two more sets, weighted or not weighted. Anything you want to do as long as it involves ab work. Lift, lean, legs, go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, 10 both sides and release. Lots of breathing. We have a third set to do. Little Birdby told me that Polsky twists are best in sets of three. Murder, murder not. <laughs> third set, breathe it in. You may want to put the weight down. The weight of the legs might just be enough. One, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, last ones. Woo! Weight goes down. Down, down, baby, down by the riverside. Those kids that could do those little hand slappy things blew my mind. I used to watch, they'd be like, come on! And I'd be like, ah! It looked like I was having a girl fight all of a sudden. Ooh, you're going to teach Zoe that one. Zoe's good at them. All right, hands on knees. Feet go wide. Big deep breath. Lean in. Stretch out that back. Ah, if you happen to be on the floor, let the legs go out into a wide V and just have yourself a forward fold. Reach out with the right hand. Either grab up some floor, grab up some ankle, do whatever pleases that lower back. We want to make sure we get the back stretched out really nicely before we depart from this exercise because if you're not used to swinging the hips with weight it can end up in the lower back and we don't want that to that energy to settle there and stay there for the weekend because every day is the weekend now love it sweep down opposite arm sweep forward <sighs> always loved me a saturday now there's lots of them <sighs> yes, roll it back up. <sighs> Spinal twist, if you're seated on the floor, bring one knee up and in. Otherwise, left hand comes across, right hand reaches back or to the hip, maybe through to the back of the chair so that you can get a nice grab. Big breath through that torso. <sighs> One more breath. <sighs> Unwind, other side. Lift and hold. <sighs> Fill yourself up so that when you release and unwind, ah, you are free of excess energy. Right leg goes out if you're on the floor. John Yushir Sasana. Reach up first, pull those toes toward the right knee, slide forward. If you're in a chair, make sure you're hooked on that chair so that you don't fall down. <sighs> Not only is it a hamstring stretch, but it's a lower back, back of the hip. As you start to slide up, grab onto the back of that thigh, lift. If you want to reach for the toe, if you're on the floor in John Yushir Sasana, you're just going to lift that leg, thusly. Yep, left hand raises because we can, because we're awesome. -na 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 awesome. <laughs> Release that leg, sit it up, forward fold over those thighs. <sighs> yes, roll it up, exchange legs. <sighs> Reach for the toes. So even if you can't reach the toes, a lot of you taking yoga with me. Doesn't matter if you can reach the toes. It matters if the gaze goes beyond the toes. That's going to help pull the heart space out of your belly button. And it's going to help elongate the back and get that hip hinge more engaged. The breath comes in. The body slides up. Engage. Lift. Hold, if you can reach for the foot, reach for the foot. When you're ready, the right hand rises. None of that works for your body. Stretch your hamstrings. Full breath, inhale, exhale. Release forward fold, both legs in front of you or just over the knees. Let the head hang heavy, spine rounds just a little bit. 
<sighs> Roll that spine. Woo, class favorite, right ankle comes up. So that hip thrusting that we were doing, the swinging can get the hips nice and ooh, strong. And then we need to lengthen the muscles out again. Heart in toward the ankle. If you want a little extra for the upper back, that right arm can come over on the side of the heel. Then you're getting that shoulder and you're getting the hip at the same time. Doesn't need to, but you could. Breathe it in, sit it up nice and tall, square, then lean straight over the shin again. <sighs> Roll up, release that leg. Opposite, last little bits. Heart toward ankle, take that arm with you if you want to. So we turn in. And then if that left arm wants to slide over and hook into the whole process, then it goes. If I trap the mic in my armpit, you won't be able to hear me. Actually, it might be the best day of your life. <laughs> Big breath rolls you up. Square. Lean in. Oh, yes. There's O Fortuna in my hip. At least it's not the ride of the Valkyries because those are bad days. Roll it up. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, hug yourselves. Oh, because we can't squeeze you in person. Big breath. And opposite squeeze. Ah, breath in between those shoulder blades. Heart center heads. Ah, 